Are you sure? And how do I know? Because I see the little red light. This is what we're going to talk about today. We are going to talk about, well, laying a what we call a career acquisition plan. Let me ask you something, Matthew. Yeah. I want you to type up on the screen, up on the big screen here. How much money do you want to make over this summer, Matt? Not over the whole thing. Just, just give me a big number. How much money do you want to make this summer? I'm going to go with the rock. Half a million dollars. Now this needs to be a reasonable and realistic figure. Right. How much money would you like to make this summer? Two grand. Type it up here. We need to Not the whole sentence. Just type two thousand dollars. How much money do you want to make this summer? Two grand. Okay, Matt. Make that nice and big so everybody can see it over here. Okay. okay? How much money do you want to make this summer, Hannah? You looked at Kirsten and said Hannah. Yes, I did. It was a trick. <laughs> but you responded. Look at that. Go ahead. How much? Um, I don't know. You know what, pick a number. Fine. What do you think would be realistic? How much do you want to make? Well, I have a job. I know so... you do. So how much money do you want to make? Uh, 1500 Sure. That sounds 1500 good. bucks over the summer. Derringer, how much money do you want to make over the summer? Um, pick a number. Something reasonable. I'll make more than Maybe you're going to make 200 bucks mowing lawns. Maybe you're going to, I don't know. Hold on, let me think about this for a second. Mr. Otero. Yes. I do Allie. Well, Allie's got an answer. How she wants to make 500 bucks summer? this summer. Type it up. I knew I made like 200 over the How summer. How many months consist of summer? That would Three be months. June, July, and August. Three. Uh, okay. Three months. Okay. Well, let me ask you this, all right? These seem to be, some of the goals seem to be reasonable. Some of them appear to be uh, a little bit grandiose, but, you know, you got to have dreams. You gotta have a vision, you gotta have a plan to be able to acquire your dream. Alright? So, Matthew, you wanna make two thousand bucks over the summer. Do you have a product that you're gonna sell over no. the summer? Do you have a job that is going to pay you that you can provide a service to somebody in order to be able to make that amount of money? No. You okay, you do not. Hannah, you have a goal of fifteen hundred dollars that you wanna make. Now we know you're a talented designer, you're a talented graphic designer, you're a talented video editor. You got a lot of skills that you could apply here in digital media. Do you plan on utilizing those skills to acquire that fifteen hundred bucks? I can. You can. <laughs> you could. I could. And how might you go about that? Um, what would be the first starting point? Advertising. Advertising your your skills. What skills might you uh, go ahead and advertise? Probably graphic design because I have Photoshop on my computer. Yeah. There are a lot of competition out there? Probably, yeah. Probably? Not sure. But you're banking on. Make a 1500 bucks here. You've got about a month to start advertising your product. Probably want to do some market research and find out who your competition is, right? Yeah. Find out what kind of rate are you going to charge to get that 1500 bucks. How many, how many hours are you going to have to work to get that 1500 bucks if you're billing 25 bucks an hour? Well... I don't know. And is that a reasonable rate around here? Is 25 bucks an hour a reasonable rate to charge for graphic design services? I don't know. I don't We're know. not giving okay. questions. Allie, how about you? Allie has aspirations to be in the music industry. Uh, going to be tough to be around here and cut an album and make a bunch of money. Right? And we know that. That's the market we live in. Allie, what do you plan on doing to make that 500 bucks? Probably babysitting. I can't okay. really. Understood. So you're looking for sources outside of the realm of digital media. Okay, very good. The point that I'm trying to get at here, guys, is this. It's pretty simple. Allie, scroll down through our poster here. We have digital media careers. Now what I've done here, guys, is I've broken this down for you. As you know, we have been doing some of the basic steps of career acquisition skill building. We have been helping you get focused on a particular pathway that you may want to engage in as you're going through your high school, uh, your high school uh, uh, activities here and going on into whether or not you want to start your own business or you want to go to post-secondary college. Where, you know, what do you want to do with your life? Do you even maybe you want to go into the military and you want to work for uh, the PR department and get into filming and doing recruiting and whatnot? Your skills that you are learning now will apply in a vast array of different pathways. What I'm trying to do here is get you to focus on a pathway and get you to focus on a goal, something that is palatable to you, something that you find enjoyable, 
and then lay what we call a career acquisition plan to be able to obtain those goals. Now you can see the amount of work that we have to do over the next few years, right guys? If I'm saying to you, Matt, you've got $2,000 that you want to make in the next four months and you got one month to kickstart that and you don't have a product and you don't have a service that you know that you can sell, nor do you even have a job outside of the industry in order to be able to make that $2,000, you got a lot of work to do, don't you? I do. That's not putting you down. I'm just illustrating to you guys. It's one thing to dream, and it's one thing to have in your mind a vision of where you want to be down the road. It's very much another thing to apply the knowledge and the talent that you have in order to do the research that you need to lay the plan to get there. They say the journey of a thousand miles starts with what? The first step. Okay. How do you eat an elephant? <laughs> How do you eat an elephant? Well, On a bun with first. mustard. No. <laughs> One bite at a time. Tell so us. guys, again, I don't care. through all this, <laughs> when you take a look here, this is a nice poster that I threw together for you guys. This is actually for my class for uh, Mrs. Ribashecki here. Oh, by the way, uh, I should have introduced you. Karen Ribashecki. Uh, has been uh, putting up with me now for about four years. You guys have met Faye several times as she's come in. Now that I'm finishing up my Vogue 2 certification, I've been dealing with uh, working with uh, Karen. She's been dealing with me, putting up with me. And this is our first formal observation. So Karen from IUP, welcome. And this is Autumn, Matt, and Derringer, Allie, Mike, Adam, Kirsten, Barbara, and Hannah. And they're just some of our morning crew. So. Yep. And our a couple kids are not here today, and seniors are focusing on the NACTI, and they've already done a lot of this career research, so we're having these guys get started. So what is our goal in this lesson? Take a look at your lesson plan. Look at the poster. Now, multimedia artists and animators, I have a basic description here. What I have done is tried to model the career research skills that you're going to need in order to be made in order to make some solid decisions over the coming years as to where you want to go and how you're going to get there. So the first thing that I did, well, was follow the plan that Karen set forth. Pick five career pathways that would be applicable to the realm of interactive digital media. Do career research using established professional and government websites and then try to compile that information into resources for you guys. So the first step was pick five pathways that I know my program is right to prepare you guys for and give you some basic information. Multimedia artists and animators. They're gonna create graphics and animation using hand drawings, computer software and equipment. Now, I'm not gonna read all this to you. This information you guys can utilize as a resource. I just wanted to point you in the right direction here as we get going in our lesson today, okay? So this will be here for you as a resource. It'll be up on our website, it's on our Facebook page, and I'll email these documents to all you guys. This will also be, all of the content we're gonna breeze through real quickly in this period, will culminate in two activities where you will get graded. And I'm gonna show you that in the, in the lesson plan here, okay? You're not gonna do the activities today though. They will be due later on in the week, and you'll find those under the Moodle career pathways class that I've set up for you, okay? So that said, multimedia artists and animators, graphic designers, broadcast media sound engineering technicians. Allie, you wanna scroll on down? So you see a nice graphic there? Web producers and developers, what do they do? How much do they make annually across the board on average in the United States of America? And one of the hottest things right now that you guys may or may not even remember the Moodle project that we did. What were we preparing you for? A career pathway in instructional technology, applying your digital media skills to the realm of education and helping educators educate the youth of tomorrow by putting together instructional design and becoming a technologist, okay? Lots of possibilities within the realm of digital media. So what I want you guys to do is you open up your little pack here. We're going to go down through very briefly. Again, I want you guys to look at all this in detail on your own as you move forward because 
What you will be doing is at the end of the school year, as you put together your final portfolio post for this school year, for this nine weeks, it will be your career acquisition project that you're going to be working on here over the next few weeks, okay? These are the standards. Remember, we talk about our task list here in shop, right? And I have you guys align on a regular basis the lessons that you've done with the standards that are applicable from our task list. We're adding to that this year these career acquisition standards from the state of Pennsylvania. So that this will be added to our task list next year. These are some of the standards that you're addressing in this lesson. You're going to be applying, uh, analyzing relationships between career choices and career preparation opportunities, such as an associate degree, a bachelor's degree, a certificate or licensure, uh, entrepreneurship pathways, part-time employment, industrial training, registered apprenticeships, tech prep, vocational rehab centers. You're going to, G, assess the implementation of individual career paths through the ongoing development of a career portfolio. Sounds familiar, right? So I want you guys to take some time, read your career readiness standards that apply to this letter, and get familiar with the types of things that you're going to be doing as you're proceeding through these lessons. There are some academic standards and industry standards there regarding technology use as well that will apply to these lessons. So our objective today, if we look at page two, our learning objective, we want you, by the end of this unit, when you finish your two projects that you're going to do for a grade, we want you to draw from the provided informational texts. This is the stuff that I'm going to give to you. Links to further resources and a resource uh, document that is at the back of this. You're going to draw from the provided informational texts, texts and professional career research sources. And you're going to conduct research. You're going to discuss you're going to write about, and then you're going to craft a presentation that details the beginning steps of your own personal career development pathway using your digital media technology tools of choice. So video, presentation, interactive, uh, interactive PowerPoint, however you want to go about it. Here's your criteria. Now, those of you that have been around for a while, Anna, uh, Barb, you guys, criteria means what? What does that mean to you? as you're defining your goals in obtaining the final product for your it's lesson. How you know the project's done. It's how you know the product's done. So you're going to take a look here. You're going to engage in and you're going to contribute to classroom team activities centered around career research. You're going to conduct proper career research. Craft a quality essay paper detailing your chosen career pathway. You're going to offer a clear position on why you chose that pathway. You're going to offer evidence as to the research that you have conducted that backs your position, okay? So I want you guys to get familiar with your criteria as you go down through. Take a look at that. Now, our first activity for today, I want you guys to take a look at. We understand the importance of laying a career pathway, right? Matt wants to make two grand. Look at this. He's, he's even plotted it out. That's outstanding. Here we go. Matthew is taking the first steps towards organizing his content in a nice graphical way here. And he actually laid out a chart here with our career goals for our three students that we were playing with. So you guys understand the importance of not just having a dream, but of laying a plan and mapping it out. That's where you are in your life right now. We're going to help you do that. So you guys are all familiar with the KWL charts that we've done multiple times in here. What I want you to do very briefly is you take a look in your packet. There is a KWL chart. Okay? I just want you to take a moment here, and based on this material that I've given you, based on this poster, based on some of the career research that you guys have done thus far, and you have, Everybody here has already looked into, you've done your surveys, which you did a great job with. You guys have done some writing. Uh, you've got back to me on career pathways. Some of you have actually working on promotional videos for our shop and have done additional career research and audio production and special effects for movies and film. So based on that right now, what do you know? What do you know about the concept of laying a career acquisition plan? What do you know? Let's drop down a couple things in the K in the K column. What do you know about it? Just take a few moments and jot it down. It's not enough. 
room. I don't know what to write. He's you don't know anything? No. You know nothing about laying a, a career acquisition plan? <laughs> really? Okay, down. well then hopefully through the lesson you will, okay? And the W stands for what? 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 Hmm. What do you want to know? Okay? Do everybody have a few things of what you know in your K column, Derringer, right there. Go to the correct page. Let's get you there. You gotta flip through your pack there, buddy. There you go. What do you know about obtaining a career in digital media? Anybody? Yeah? I can't write anything down. You can't? No. Your hand broken. No, I don't know what to write. Well, then, we're going to move on to the next column. <laughs> if you do not know, so you can, you're just not sure of what you need to write. You are able. Now, that said, if you're not certain of what you know already, nothing wrong with that. That's part of the learning process is admitting that you got a lot to learn. That's the first step, right? So, let's move to what do you want to know. List some points under the W column of what you want to know about the process of obtaining your dream career in the realm of digital media. Let's have everybody jot that down. What do you want to know? Well, what do you want to know? Anybody want to help out them out? Let's call some, uh, let's call some items out, perhaps. Hannah, what do you want to know about obtaining your dream career? What do you still need to know, do you think? Um, maybe, like, potential employers. Let's write that down. There you go. Potential employers. Who would hire you for what you want to do? I would think one of the first questions that you want to ask yourself is, what do I want to do? Right? I mean, if I'm sitting here saying to you, I know as a web producer... I know I have the ability in a Saturday afternoon to launch a Joomla website, okay? Right? Mm -hmm. Over the course of a weekend, I can make 400 bucks by selling to Joe and Sal's Pizza and Mom and Pop the automotive place. I could, over the course of the summer, build five websites, build 400 bucks a pop, work five weekends, and make $2,000, okay? I'm putting that together. So I know that I can use those skills to make that money. You guys need to ask yourselves, of all the different pathways that we explore, multimedia, instructional design, web producers, uh, web developers, audio and video producers, all these different pathways, what do you really love? What do you want to do? That's your first step, okay? So maybe you want to ask that question. Matt, what else you got in the W column? What do you want to know about your career pathway? I put what type of industry would hire me with my skill set. Very good, very good. That's what I, that's what uh, Hannah's getting at. If you know what you want to do and you know what your skills are and you know what you need to do to get further ahead in that, who's going to hire you? Right. right? Any other questions, Allie? What do you got that you want to know? How to get in contact with a certain There you go. How to get in contact with these people? What is the proper mode of communication? to be able to get your foot in the door, so to speak. Right, Mike, what do you want to know? Uh, where, where would we most likely get a job at? Or okay, this is what we're all talking about here, okay? Very good. How do you know your pricing reasonably for the area you're working in? Very good. This is what we were talking about. Market research, right? I know that there is work out there to be had for young people well-versed in, like, basically web design, graphic design, making posters, things like that. Do you charge $7 an hour or can you charge $70 an hour? Who is your competition? These are important things to know, okay? So market research, what's happening around you and what opportunities exist. Very good. Now, what we're going to do, we're going to take a look at the poster here. Scroll down through here. Let's just take two minutes and everybody breeze through this. I'll read it out loud for you real quick. Multimedia artists and animators. Create graphics and animation using hand drawings and computer software and equipment. And general animators and multimedia artists work for advertising agencies, the movie and video industry, and for computer design firms. 60,000 or so, roughly, per year average across the United States. Graphic designer. Kirsten, you want to be a graphic designer. What is it that you're going to be doing? You want to read that for us? 
Design or create graphics to meet specific commercial or promotional needs, such as packaging, displays, or logos may use a variety of mediums to achieve artistic or de decorative effects. There you go. National mean salary for $44,000. And ten annually. annually. Now, we talk about market research. This is what part of what you guys are going to do before you graduate here. It's one thing to say what you can get hourly based here in Dubois, Pennsylvania, but maybe you don't want to live in Dubois for the rest of your life. Maybe you want to move along. How much are graphic designers making and what is the market demand for those jobs in your ideal city where you want to go or where you want to go to college? These are important things. Broadcast media and sound engineering technicians. What we do here in our incredible studio. Broadcast and sound engineering technicians set up, operate, and maintain the electrical equipment for radio and television broadcasts, concerts, sound recordings, and movies, and in the office and school buildings. Annually, 47000 or so average salaries. Web producers, web developers, plan, produce, maintain websites using web programming, languages, software applications, and databases. They create designs, concepts, graphics, multimedia content and sample layouts based on the knowledge of layout principles and aesthetic design concepts. Annually, roughly 60000 a year. Instructional design and technologies. This is something I want you guys to keep your minds on. Now, as we're going through this quick list here, what did you learn? What have you learned about your chosen career pathway? Mine's not up there. Jot them down. Instructional designers and... The, write it down. It's not on the poster. It will be here. Instruction, I have another document that you guys are going to go through on your own, and you're going to read on your own. It's a lot longer. We're just using this as a primer. The document here for your career research is at the end, which I'll go through with you. Instructional designers, instructional designers and technologists develop instructional materials for education. So as we told you guys when you learned how to make a Moodle course, perhaps you're going to be working for... Somebody like Karen someday, and uh, she's going to hire you out, or a professor at a college, or an IT department is going to hire you out to help manage and build their online courses. So lots of different pathways. If you see something here that you've learned from the poster, jot it down in your L column there. Okay? You didn't learn anything from this at all? You learned nothing at all from all the information that's on that poster. Hannah, did you learn anything from the poster at all? Not about my career path that I wanted to What about career acquisition in general? I don't know. You didn't learn anything from the poster whatsoever. It doesn't say anything about career acquisition. That's what this is all is. This is no, information I mean, no, about the I mean, career pathways. No, that's not what I mean about acquisition. I mean like how you get a job. How you that get a job, of say course. Anything about it. This is discussing, like, it's discussing what the jobs are. Well, sure. Salaries. Isn't that the first step is understanding what it is that you want to do and what possibilities exist. Now you know what a web producer does and what a broadcast technician does and who they work for. Was that not one of your guys' questions? Yeah, who will hire me? Already knew this from the thousands of other projects. We've that we've done, exactly. So this is the information that you're going to start with. Now here's where the research gets much more in depth, guys. If you go ahead, and we're going to have a little bit of fun here and spread around through the group. What I want you to take a look at here is your digital media, interactive media, career research, student information sheet at the end of your pack. Now what I've done is I've compiled a bunch of information. These are very broad pathways, by the way, guys. Okay? Animators. And yours is up here, Hannah. Animators and 3D designers. Animator 3D designers. Supposed to be a director. Ah, film. Mine's not in here either. Well, no, these are only five that I chose. Your guys, your ultimate goal is to choose something that is right for you and conduct your own research. As I started out, this was a model to show you how to go ahead and begin the process of identifying the pathway you want to be on, identifying the resources that you need to be able to obtain move forward movement on that pathway, such as who would hire me, how much will I make, what kind of education do I need. I was My job here was to only choose five general pathways. You have tons of general pathways that are at your disposal here, guys. So your job as you move forward 
is to not just copy and paste the information I'm providing you. It is for you to do your own research and move forward on that pathway. You get it? Right? So if indeed your information and where you want to go in your career pathway is on this document list, awesome. You're well ahead of the game. You can get going. If not, then you, you're going to do your own research and move forward. So what we're going to look for is this. Let's take a look at the web developer and the producer, for instance. We identified our job description. What did we do? We identified the tasks that are involved in the job. What exactly are you going to do if you get hired as a web producer and developer? What are some of the tools and the technology that you're going to use? So if yours is not not on here, these are the kind of things that you're going to be looking for. Same with you, Hannah. You understand? Technology. What types of technology are you going to need to know? Are you going to need to know any sort of programming? Are you going to need to know scripting? Are you going to need to know uh, servers? Are you going to need to understand the basics of graphic design? National pay range and media, medium range or uh, medium wage across the board. What are the educational requirements? You're going to be surprised, guys. There are a lot of opportunities out there at an entry level for people that have no degree or just a technical certification. Now, does that mean necessarily that you should not plan on going on for a four-year degree? No. Again, it depends on what your goals are, where you want to live, the kind of company you want to work for. Maybe you don't want to work for a company. Maybe you want to be an entrepreneur and do your own thing. Okay? Certainly, degree pathways are going to be helpful for you. They may not be right for you. You need to educate yourself the whole way across the board and find out what can I get in terms of a nibble, in terms of a gainful employment, if I have two Adobe certifications, for instance, in video editing. Or while you're waiting for college. Maybe you can get a decent job at a film studio while you're in college because you have an entry-level certification. What possibilities exist? This is what you're going to want to look toward as you guys are going through your research. Now, Allie, if you pull up the document there, pull up the Microsoft Word document, what I've done for you guys, and I will email this document for you. These are live links, so you can go back and you can research these on your own. I've provided you links. For instance, let's go to the web designer one. Just as an example of how you can use this document then for further research, go on down. Keep going. Okay. Web producers, right here. Let's go to, going down, right here. Click that link, webprofessionals.org. Click that. So you guys are going to be able to and open up, uh, bring your browser over to that window so we can all see it. These are links to professional resources that you can and should use to validate the information that you're looking for. So. As you produce your products here and you do write your essay and you produce your report over the next coming, the coming weeks, this is what we're looking for. When I talk about citing a resource, when we talk about citing where you got that information and evidence of the claims that you're making, this is an example. This is the World Organization of Webmasters. This website offers you, if you click on certification, this website offers you information as to the types of certifications that are available for webmasters and the benefits of those certifications and how much it costs. These are particular links that are particular to that specific pathway. If your pathway is not on this list, then it's your job to do your research to find your own. Okay? You understand where we're going with this? So, your resource document is here for you as just that. Not a copy and paste tool, but as a guideline on how to do your research and where to begin. You, I know yours isn't on there. Photography, for yeah. instance, okay? So you got some work to do. That's okay. Now, here's what we're going to do. Our next activity. We are going to take our big boards and we're going to write. What I want you guys to do, based on this research document or based on the information that you know about your career pathway, that you have studied thus far. This is just brainstorming, okay? We're gonna time this. I'm gonna take, uh, we're gonna do this in groups. How many kids we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, How seven, many? eight, nine of us. Um, let's just do this in groups of three, two. Four. Let's go two. Let's go two here. So Everybody, here. come on, let's get up. <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and we are gonna write. I want two people here. Video is the closest thing I got to the <laughs>
<laughs> there you go. Two people, away. you're all going to rotate. We're going to rotate around our stations, okay? Yep, we're going to start here. Just leave it right here. Hey, we need one group of three if there's nine. All right, there you go. We have a marker. Here's a marker. Come on, guys, let's move. Let's move, let's move, let's move. Let's get two of you are going to start right here. Okay, we got video over here. Just get two people there, but not three. There's, not there's, there's a group of nine, so you need one group of three. We don't have enough to go the whole way around all the stations, so. Well, you don't have to be equal. We need We're going to rotate. Okay, that's fine. I see what you're saying. Okay, come on. Let's go, guys. Derringer, let's go. All right, let's have you two start right here. Okay, we're going to go web design and graphic design. Adam, you're right. Okay, in here, audio production. Allie, let's have you and Mike start with that. Okay, Derringer and Autumn, let's have you out here. 3D design and animation, okay? Now, what I want you guys to do, I just want you to take two minutes. Who's keeping time? Do you? Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yeah, go ahead. Hey, Mr. E, did you see my graph? All right. Let me see. I went through this technical, big old process that you wouldn't understand because it's so technical. I understand. Test. And this is our goal rate, and I put through three of the tests to see who's going to succeed with theirs, and I came out 100% each time. Nice. So I'm going to succeed. Awesome. There you go. It's starting All right, up. two minutes. Let's go. I don't have a marker. Okay, we'll get you one. I want you to write down what you know. I want you to what you know about careers in this pathway. What do you know about careers in this pathway? Just jot them down. Brainstorm. Don't even worry about spelling things correctly. Okay? Let me get you a marker, kiddo. It's like a race. Yep. Just move quick. What? Um, yes, I'll get with you in a minute. Where, what happened to all of our markers, guys? They've taken the markers, and now they're gone. i got to get you a marker. All right. Excuse me, sir. Here you go, Autumn. Anything you know about careers in 3D design? You don't know anything? You got a whole resource seat right there. Yes, there is. There's information on there. You got to put some effort forth, kiddo. What do you know about information? What you You've been doing career research. What do you know about career pathways in the realm that you want to stare. Where are you going? Here's a marker. You got about a minute and a half. Just jot down whatever you got, kiddo. Autumn. You need to put together some effort. Take a look at the sheet. Give it a shot. See what you can come up with. Okay. What do you know about career pathways in 3D design? If you don't know anything, then don't write it on the sheet, okay? We need to move along here. Okay. Let us take a look. Multimedia artists and animators. Right there, kiddo. There's tons of information right here for you to choose from. Okay, why don't you take a look at it and read something. We utilize design. We utilize design computers. We work on computers. We work with uh, DVDs and CD-ROM burners. We utilize these different technologies. They make upwards of $60,000 annually. There you go. Wage salary, $60,000 annually. There's one thing that you now know about animators, right? Yeah. There you go. See if you can get that up there. Okay, Derringer, same with you. You've, got, you've already done some research. If you don't remember it, that's okay. But that's why we're getting you going with these documents, okay? Take a look at the document. Pick something up there and throw it on there. So now we know. 3D animators make roughly $60,000 plus a year, okay? Give it an effort. Two minutes, Two minutes is done. Okay, very good. Very good, Autumn. Excellent work. All right. Now, let's move it along to the next road. Okay. Autumn and Derringer, let's come on in here. What are you, what are you writing down, kiddo? I'm trying. Uses computers. That'll do. That'll do. we got to move it along. It's just brainstorming. Come on, guys. Okay. Ah, it's madness. All right, what else we got? Derringer and Autumn, you're going to move into audio. Oh, we, wait, you guys got audio? Yeah, uh, audio? Okay, then let's have Derringer and Autumn are going to move over here. We're going to keep rotating around the room. There you go. Instructional designer. There you go, buddy. Take the pen. All right, Autumn's getting it. Okay, what do you know about instructional designers, my friend? I barely even know why I'm here. There's information right here on instructional designers on what they do, and how they do it, and how much they make. It's in your document here. Hold this camera. 
Derringer, hold the camera. I've never had a camera in my life. There you go. There's instructional design. What do you know about instructional design? There you go. Take your document. Let's jot some things down on the paper. Okay, what do you got? Okay, audio production. What do you know about audio production? It might not be it might not be on the document. It may not be here. It might be based on the research that you've done thus far. It might be based on things that you've I learned. What research have we done so far? Uh, so. Then it, it, just use common um, sense. Where would an audio design where would an audio producer work? What kind of job might they get? There you go. Maybe working for news media, right? Maybe working for a concert company. Maybe working for a music studio. Recordists. What might you think? Radio uh, stations. Uh, ah, there you go. Absolutely. Uh, web design and graphic design. What do you guys know about web and graphic design? A lot. A lot. There you go. That's good. About what? Oh. This is our stuff right here. This jumble. This is this jumble. That's all right. Marketing. XML, HTML, Photoshop. This is good. This is good. Okay. What do you guys know about video production? Spell. You can't spell. <laughs> well, this person right here is nervous right now because she's doing the talk show and she doesn't know if she's going to sing by herself. Ah, uh, you'll do fine. Okay, let's stay focused on the task at hand. You guys get some things down? Yeah. Awesome. One, two, three, four, she's, she's like just going at it. That's great. Okay, let's move it along to the next station. All right, guys, come on in here. All right, two minutes. Let's go. Okay, did you guys do web design yet? No. All right, web design. What do you know about web design? You, video production. Derringer, come on in here. Right in here, kiddo. It's chaos is what it is. All right. What do you guys know about careers in video production? Now, Autumn, I know it's not on here necessarily, but you got broadcast media and sound engineering technicians, but some common sense. Use common sense. Where may somebody with skills in video production, where might they work? Hollywood. Right. You might work for in this film industry. You might work for where else? BBC America. Television yeah. station. Exactly. Now you're getting it. So just if it's not on the list, just use your common sense, okay? Derringer. You want to get in making video games. Video games are basically interactive movies these days, right? Could you utilize skills in video production to work for the gaming industry? Absolutely, right? So jot that down. Could work making video games, okay? Very good. All right, what do we got? Instructional design. What do you guys know about instructional technology? Now, we went through a whole five-week course on this, right? What do you know? First off, you got the research that I did for you is already right there. You can pick something off of there. But what do you know about building instructional websites? What technology did we use here in shop earlier in the year for you guys to build a class for your academic classes? You use Moodle, right? Uses technology such as Moodle. What was another technology that we used here in shop? Do you remember? It started with a C. It was a new Adobe product that we bought. Oh, um, Captivate. Captivate, exactly, exactly. These are identifying some of the technologies that you use. There's another big one that we use. We use a lot in shop, and. Adobe offers a certification in this technology. I'll give you a hint. It has to do with digital communications, but it's classified as instructional technology. We use it a lot. Like the classroom? Virtual classroom. That's called Adobe Connect, right? Very good. Two minutes up. Rotate. Rotate. Right Rotate. Right Rotate. Right Wait, ah, the you got to stop. Where we go with that one? Next year, we'll go to this one. Matt's in a panic. Ah! <laughs> this one. All right, all right, let's go. Oh, you guys, you guys are three to design. Did you? Okay, where did you get? Did you get web design? You guys got web design. Did you get three D animation? Okay, where, did you get video? No, you get in the studio and do the video. Video production. You guys are. What do you know about three D design and animation? Okay. All right, Autumn. Web design. Derringer, you are working on web design. What do you guys know about web and graphic designers? Okay? Try it down. Take a look at your, take a look at your plan there. Where is that educational director? Schools. Um, Adobe Classroom. Adobe. Adobe. Excellent. That's called, that's called Adobe Connect. Yeah, the Connect TV. Yep. Nope, not Connect TV. But that's in the HTML. Um. <laughs> All right, Derringer, what do we got here, buddy? Let's see here. 
Graphic designers. Graphic designers. Uh, we are under web design and graphic design. So this is what web producers do. Let's throw this up on the board. How much do they make roughly a year, Derringer? What's that say? Okay. Here, real quick. Help Autumn out here. Help your teammate out. And jot down up on the poster what they make annually. Okay? Annual salary. How much? 77000 or more. Roughly 77000 annually. So you can just put 77 k annual salary. Okay? Excellent, Autumn. Excellent work, kiddo. This is looking good, guys. Well, what you also have to do, like if you were going to do a court, put up a course for me, what kind of skills would you have to have to know yeah, what I knowledge. needed? There you but go. What else? Yeah, web knowledge, but in order to talk, to get my information. Oh, presentation skills. Presentation, you need to have some, what, good customer skills maybe? Yeah. And what, what else is so important about this, guys? And we taught this some of this. When we talk about writing a career or writing a plan, writing a project plan, uh, and, and identifying your objective, identifying your criteria. Remember when we've done the exercises in project-based learning where you even work with me to develop your own rubric on how you should be scored based on your task lists, right? You need to understand what process in order to use this technology to work. What else, what, what, I think this is what Karen's getting at here. What else do you need? What other skills do you need? Okay, but, but follow me here. What other yeah. skills are you going to need? Besides the technology skills and the presentation and the personal skills. People skills, good development skills. Hey, give us your marker. Instructional you got to understand instruction. you got to understand the instructional process. There may be a pathway here in education for you, right? Okay, 3D designers and animation. What do you guys know? Very good. Okay. Uh, instructional design and instructional rotate. technology. What do you guys know? We to All right. Okay. Autumn and Derringer. Audio production. Now, we do not have audio production on a research list, but just use common sense. What tools would an audio producer use? I really don't know much about it. I only did some stuff for me. Or well, would, a, would an audio producer use a together? kitchen blender? No. Would an audio producer use a microwave oven, maybe other than making lunch? What tools might they use? Look at this. There she goes. Would use a micro a mixer. Very good. What other tools do you see here, buddy, that they might use? Instruments. Instruments, musical instruments. How about that blue thing? What is that? You'll get into more training on this down the road, but stuff right but no you will you're you're still you're just starting out but we're going to get in more and more and more what other tools do you see here speakers speakers and how about this what do you do when you when you're up on stage and ah! what is that microphone. microphone exactly there you go so jot those down very good all right everybody got the video right Hey, 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 leave them alone, leave them alone, they're working. Okay, what do you guys got? 50 seconds. Instructional designers, you guys, we're almost done here. You got 50 seconds. Okay, did everybody get into video? I think we got them all covered. No, we have to do this one yet. Okay. Who? Adam and I. Oh, you guys got to do this yet. Aren't you done here? No. Uh -huh. I, started, I don't know. There must be a, a, a sign. There's an odd number of posters. Ah, uh, there, there are five posters with those five different yeah. pathways. Yeah, there's yes. an odd number of posters. Okay. okay How much time we got? 20, 20 seconds. seconds. Okay. Rotate. Did you guys get everything you know about instructional technology? Yeah, you did? Well, uh, $50,000 annually. What kind of skills might they need? How about, oh, oh, degrees applicable, master's and bachelor's degrees, educational degrees. You can work with teachers, schools, working with online. Oh, I got one. How might This might be something that you might normally think. We think about instructional technologies that applies to education, but could people in corporations use instructional technologies for training? How about that? Corporate training. Or even sales training, right? Setting up online courses to help companies train their employees. It doesn't always have to be in the classroom. All right, very good. Did we get through all? Did you guys get through every poster? Yeah. I thought you did. Very good. Okay. Um, I think we're done, guys. Is this Steve Jobs? Yeah, it is. It is. Really? Yeah. I guess that right. looks so Anna. cool. What? Come here. All right, real Work. quick. All I want to do, guys, let's just go around and take a look at the take a look at the boards very quickly, um, as a group, 
Hannah, um, Autumn, and Derringer. Let's get back in here. All right. Let's start with this and take a look at what do we got in here. Okay. What do we know about video producers now, guys? What do we know All about right, careers got, in video uh, production? Boom Come on in. Operator. Setting up cameras for specific shots, special effects specialist, script writer, actor, screenwriter, director, editor, producer. Excellent. Stagehands. Stage hands. What kind of jobs might they work at? This one. This working on the set of Sherlock. P.S. Hannah didn't write this. <laughs> you can use video production for video games. How much like, does a video producer uh, potentially make? No idea. It's not no on here. here. Does it say? Nah. No. So no, we now now we know we need to get into there. YouTube we need to make a little bit of money. Videos. Video editor. Anything on here pop out at you that, that you went, well, I didn't know. Or maybe you think that's not valid. Maybe you think it doesn't think belong. I think valid. What is, events, what is it? R records, events. Record, record events. Record events. TV cameras and then use video editing software like Premiere to put it together. And sure it is. Absolutely. I was joking. Ah, uh, I gotcha. <laughs> now, one thing. You know, those of you guys that are into game production, we talked with Derringer about this. Video yeah, games so these days are pretty much interactive movies, aren't they? No reason why, if you're interested in video That's production, that you could not this get into the valid. gaming industry. Yes. What, what is it? What is it? What is it? Yes, it is. You can use because video. You have to use like motion. Yeah, Barbara, and stuff that's that's valid. Absolutely. It's Absolutely. It's not valid. Absolutely. It's, it's, well, guys, when you when you turn on these video games and you that. see, listen, are the are the games themselves not okay. basically interactive movies? There's film inside these games, right? You're using these skill sets now. Um, video production, that ties so closely to graphics and animation and 3D design. So let's go take a look at that. Back off. Woo. Let's Back go. Off, come on, guys. Leave it here, let's wrap guys. this up. Hey, come on. Come on. Let's move, 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 move. All right, what do we know? Mike. All right, guys. What do we got here? What do we know about 3D animation and design? After Effects. Ah. Special effects, film industry, creative, training in your program, yeah, technology, yeah, yeah, technologically advanced, logos, video games. Matthew, get back over here. Filter, no, you need to take part in this. Use, is used in many movies, Blender, Flash, After Effects, okay. uses computers. Excellent. Anybody tell me anything? What do you know up here? What do we know or what is missing in terms of educational requirements? How do you break into the field? What do you need? Did anybody write that down? No? We didn't, so we need to do some research on that, don't we? How much do animators make a year? Yeah, $60,000. Roughly. What? Uh, $60,000. Mean, mean across the board. Very good. Types of jobs? What do we got here? Cartoon. What do they mean by that? Cartoon network, right? Animation. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Anything here not valid? Anybody want to see? Want to try their hand? Anything here not valid for career pathways? In animation? What's that bottom thing say? Training in your program. Oh, never mind. Training in your program. I'm not quite sure exactly what, what means that means. Like training like Adobe. Or like Adobe. Ah, yeah. very good. All right, so certification. Absolutely. All right, let's take a look at audio production. Why don't we go to that one? Then? Right here. Come on, guys. Let's wrap this up. Audio production. Now, this was a little bit more of a challenge because audio production was not on our resource list, but many of us have done work with audio production. So, what do we know about careers in audio? Come on in. Barb, what do we got? DJing, music production, film and audio, video game, voiceovers, news media, concert company, broadcast engineering, work weekends and late nights. Ah. Vocal recording, Foley operator, boom operator, movie sets, voiceovers for instructional technology, documentaries, commentaries, and commercials. Very good. Sound effects like blasts or sound effects, music videos, MIDI production. Excellent. Uh, would use a mixer and microphone and speakers. Could use this is very nice. There's a lot of information up there, and this was not given to you in your packet. This is encouraging. You guys already knew a lot of this information just from, from assimilation, from doing the projects here and some of the audio training that you've done here in shop. So anybody interested in audio production, where are they going to work? What types of jobs would or, would uh, possibly hire an audio producer? Allie, you guys are doing some career research? DJs. Clubs? Clubs. Yeah. Different radio stations. Radio stations? Derringer? A mo yeah, movie companies, absolutely. You guys ever heard of Foley artists? What does a Foley artist do? 
right there. Foley. Right there. What does a Foley artist do? Hannah Rummel. Um, they create sounds for movies. So, like, if someone's walking on a boardwalk, they have to recreate the person stepping on the boardwalk. Absolutely. And, now that's for a movie. What about cartooning and animation? They make the sounds. They make movie. the sounds when you guys watch Spongebob and you think and, and all the funny sound effects that go along with it. Somebody is a trained Foley artist that is creating the sound, tr working with the soundtrack, working with special effects, and creating and recording the sounds to go along with the video, right? So you can see an application for audio producers as well in the gaming industry, in multimedia production in general, right? I mean, huge applications for audio to a lot of these different fields, including instructional technology. Let's go take a look. Come on out here. Go, 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 go. All right. What do we know? What do we know about instructional technology? Kirsten, what do you got? Oh. Or Matthew. Somebody read it. Oh, I got this. Educational degrees. I don't know what that says. Available. Available. Master's slash bachelor degree. Now, I will caution you. Of all the things that we're looking at, there's a lot more opportunity available for young people that have a lower level of post-secondary degree, you can break into multimedia production, video, audio, sometimes with no degree or a certification or an associate's degree. It's a lot going to be a lot harder to get into educational and instructional technology without a bachelor's or a master's degree. That's important to know. Okay, go ahead, Matt. What else? Earns fifty-nine thousand plus annually. Teachers, schools, Adobe Connect, classroom. Uh, knowledge. So we're identifying some of the skills that are going to be needed here. Knowledge, production skills. Absolutely. People skills. Development skills. How to reach students. Excellent. Corporate training. Corporate training. Use technologies such as Moodle, Captive, and Adobe Connect. Very good. Very good. Now, instructional technology, I want you guys to think about this. Sounds boring out of hat, but if you get in with the right company, think about it. This is true. You're going to be working in a true multimedia environment like we do here in shop, right? Creating online courses, creating online training materials. You will be using video. You will be using audio. You will be using 3D animation. You will be using graphic design skills. You will be using video production skills and live streaming. Everything that we do here kind of culminates in possibilities here in instructional technology because you're going to be using all of it. So if you want to be a jack of all trades and get paid well working for education or sales or training, possibilities, huge possibilities, and this is the real big hot ticket right now in our realm, guys. I'm telling you. So think about that. Open mind, right? Last one, web and graphic design. All right, what do we got here? Now, a lot of you guys interested in web design and graphic design. Kirsten, Yay! our resident graphic design it. genius. What do we got, kid? Uh, creates graphics sorry, for posters or packaging. So uh, say print material. Print material. Right. Uh, usually for commercial or promotional needs. Um, and then there's a little bit about web design underneath it. Produce and maintain websites. Hmm? There's fan sites. JavaScript, creative, advertising, tablets, marketing, understanding, HTML, and XTML, and XML. Very good. Training, so some of the technologies that you need. Yep. Training, Photoshop, Experience, Dreamweaver, InDesign, social media sites, working with a client, client to get their approval and to make complete projects. Excellent. To use HTML and XTML and all that again. Very good. Now, annually, web producers, people that are managing websites across the board, managing a team, you know, you're going to be making good money. These people are really in demand. You're looking at 77 plus per year annually, depending on the market and where you go. Working as a webmaster, working as a web administrator on the back end, managing servers, managing user accounts. Those are different sub-applications of the overall big web producer category. Um, you, could be a, you could be a streaming media specialist whose job it is to encode media and take videos and encode it and put it on Flash Server and manage Flash Server and make sure that the, uh, the uh, bit rate is set correctly for multiple audiences and the content is being sent out 
to the audience's unfettered and in quality mode. There's so many different realms that you can get into in web production. So if you're interested in this, guys, I, I, I got to keep an open mind. Now, I kind of lumped graphic design and everything together with web design because it's so integrated these days. But as Kirsten pointed out, graphic designers do not necessarily have to go the realm of web. Graphic, strong people with strong graphic design skills will find a lot of opportunities in web design companies. But as a standalone graphic designer, Kirsten, I know you're interested in illustration and utilizing your graphic design skills. Now, you mentioned print media as well. We do a lot of that here, guys, right? What else may a graphic designer get into um, uh, other realms of career pathways for graphic design? I know a lot of graphic designers that I, like, follow up on. They do, like, T-shirts a lot of times for, like, bands and all that. Case in point. Yep, somebody yeah. designed that, absolutely. Designed this also uh -huh. for a band. And so apparel, fashion, maybe you're into fashion design, right? Mm -hmm. Now, Barb, you're interested in photography. Image acquisition, image editing ties hand in hand with graphic design. So as you're exploring your career pathways, guys, I want you to keep your minds open to what, not what you think your pathway is, but what it in fact is and the broader opportunities that exist. Now, real quick, we're going to wrap this up and I'm going to show you your first assignments. Come on in here. Yes, you have assignments, but they're not due today, luckily. All right. I can't believe it. Oh my, he's making us work. Oh, I'm, I can't believe we're in school and my teacher is actually asking me to work. Oh my gosh. Well, all the students that are in my class, like Mr. Otero and a whole group of other students, have to do that. And guess what? I'll bet a lot of those other students in my class would pay your students to develop a poster like that for them. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So there you go. There's a market right there. And, and you talk about instructional technology. How many of them might be a culinary instructor and might look mm -hmm. at this stuff and go, wow, could you make an interactive poster where you embed mm -hmm. a video so it's not just a still picture, but you click it and a career video from YouTube pops up? How many of you guys can do that using basic web design or InDesign, right? Here. So that's a very, very good point. Absolutely. Aaron knows how to do this kind of stuff. All right, let's look at what we're going to ask of you guys. Let's look at our list here of assignments. There are two assignments. Your first assignment, which will be due on Wednesday, extended response essay activity. Okay? This will go up on Moodle by the end of the day Wednesday where you will have your criteria and everything listed and where you can then upload your document. You're going to write a short essay, no, no less than 500 words. That's a couple, basically one page or so, right, Karen? About that. Your employment information, here's your premise and your content focus. Employment information website, such as ONET Online and U.S. Bureau of Labor Statistics, recognize that careers within the realm of digital media technology are expanding quickly and that there are a wide variety of pathways opening up doors of opportunities that have never even existed before due to the rapid advance in technology. So that's good news, right? What's the bad news? Along with the number of opportunities that exist, there is also a dramatic increase in competition due to the number of young people who are drawn to these technologies. This might well be making... This might well make finding a job within your chosen pathway more difficult than you first thought. Hold this. So your job is this. For this assignment, you should assume that you have parents or other influences in your life who recognize this fact and who might want to talk you into a more, quote unquote, safe career pathway. McDonald's. With a more guarantee of employment. In the space below, so on your assignment, you are going to identify at least three different career pathways that you feel confident in pursuing. Why do you want to pursue these pathways? You will construct an argument as to a position that you believe you're qualified, and you're going to construct an argument that defends your position as to why you believe that you are qualified to pursue those pathways. 
and how you plan on overcoming the obstacle of increasing competition from your peers. So Anna wants to break into film and special effects, right? What are the three different job types that you may want to get into? And recognizing that that's such a hot field and recognizing that young people are drawn to that field in numbers and there's going to be a lot of competition, what's your plan to stand out from the pack? Got it? That's your job. So you got to do a little bit of research and then you want to defend your position. If mom and dad says, you're crazy going down this path, you want to be able to go to them and say, no, nah, here's why I think I can do this. Okay? Now, the next assignment. Now, I have on here that it's due Friday, but I'm going to give you guys a little more time on this because we've got to get the yearbook out the door. So the next assignment is where you're going to take and you're going to do what is called a synthesis. You're going to bring all this information that you're doing, that you've done so far in our career acquisition pathways here, and you're going to put it together into a presentation. You're going to create a five-page presentation on PowerPoint that is careers in whatever. Now, some of you guys have already started this. With Ali and Hannah, what you guys have started, you're going to build onto these, onto these PowerPoints that you're making. You're going to cho put a, put a uh, description there, why you chose that pathway and the justification for the pathway. A career overview for the title and the nature of the career pathway with a description of the job details, the tasks and the technology involved, the income and the job availability. So a complete research project in PowerPoint format as well as educational requirements, then you're going to put that together and you are going to list your resources as a bibliography. What did you use to research this information? And you're going to go into the virtual classroom, like we've done dozens of times, and you're going to record yourself giving a presentation, saving it in flash video, and putting it up on the web. Okay? That's the plan. That's going to be a little bit more ambitious in that particular project we need to see where we are with everything going on. We got the mall next week. We got we got the signs for the Du Bois people. We got the yearbook. We got to wrap up. We got you know so we got a lot going on. I might make that particular presentation your year end project, guys, and that will be your final portfolio post. Okay, so we got a little bit of time on that. But Wednesday, research paper and your uh, your essay. Okay, if you look at your rubric here, remember. How am I getting graded, right? How do you hit a target if you don't know what the target is or what it is you're shooting at? This is how you're going to get graded on your rubric. This is how you're going to get graded on your presentation, okay? All the information you need is there. I hope you've enjoyed this. I've enjoyed it. I'm uh, sore now from talking so much. Um, any questions before we move forward? Adam, thank you so much for helping. Any questions? No? Excellent. Question is how soon they won't want to know how soon they can jump up and get started in it. Oh, that, they're, they're so they're just dying to write that essay, aren't you guys? I'm telling you. Oh, great! I'm glad that I can oblige. And isn't it cool that I'm such an awesome teacher that I only make her write a one page paper? Thank you, Mr. Otero. Thank you, Mr. Otero. There you go. See, it could be seven pages. It could be 17 pages. All right, guys. Listen, thank you for your attentiveness. This was good stuff. Hey, listen, I want you to take down these posters for us, please. Make sure you take the tape off gingerly. Um, wrap them up and put them here on the desk for us, okay? All right. Thanks.